What do we do about all the negativity around us? People griping and complaining about everything that's wrong in the world. And we really don't know what to do about it. We're going to talk about that right now on the tune up. Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the tune up today. Wow. I just got off a phone call today with one of my friends here in the United States that did nothing but bitch and complain about what's wrong with this country, all the things that are screwed up like inflation, gas prices, meat prices, food, housing, had nothing good to say about anything. And this is a person that's usually fairly positive, but it's finally got to him. Does this sound like you or someone you know? What do we do about that? You know, really, I have nothing brilliant to say about it other than this. We got to put a different spin on it because a lot of it is true. A lot of it is things are out of control. And what are we going to do about it? Well, one of the things we have to do about it, first of all, is put a different spin on it for our own survivability. But also we can have a huge influence on how other people look at things as well. Keep in mind, if you have a friend and they're talking to you about this, they're looking for relief somewhere, just like we are. So you can give that, them that relief by taking a, a look at how to reframe or refocus what they're thinking about. If they're talking about gas prices, you know, gas prices haven't always been this high and they probably won't be again. Spin it that way. Understand that back in the 70s, and I lived through that, we had 21% interest rates on our real estate and we also had $4 gas prices. So I've seen this before and it ended. Some of it has to do with politics, some of it has to do with cycling. But here's the thing. If someone's talking to you about these negative things, what you have to do is really ground yourself in the moment and understand you're living in the United States of America. And it isn't just propaganda. This is a pretty darn great country. We got a lot of good things going on around us. I don't know when the last time you flew across this country, but you saw the amount of farmland we've got, the amount of real estate that really makes up this country. Most people are totally focused on the coasts, but most of this country is in the middle. They call it the flyover states. And there's a lot of good stuff going on there. In fact, where I'm located in the United States right now, people are still friendly, they're kind, they help each other. They help each other with money, food, children, babysitting, fixing your car, and most of them don't have a handout looking to get paid. People still treat each other with civility in these flyover states. In central United States, that's where this country really lives. And if you're in that area, then build upon that. If you're not in that area, if you're on the coastal regions where there's a lot of cynicism, people are extremely negative and they're one-sided, what you have to do is live your life, live your best life, be a great example of someone who is happy, no matter what happens, because you love yourself, you love your kids, you love your family, and you love this country. So many people have got away with desecrating the United States, the flag, and where we live. This is where we live. When people are negative around you, whether it's about inflation, whether it's about gas prices or housing prices, what you have to do is put another spin on it for them. Let them look at how good things are and how good they actually have it. Ask them, what car do you drive exactly? And have you seen what some other people drive? You're one of the fortunate ones. Enjoy it. And also count your blessings. Take a look at the good things happening in your life. Health is your wealth. If you're healthy, then you're wealthy. Money really hasn't got a lot to do with anything other than buying stuff. So if it's the economics of what's going on that's dragging people down, dragging you down, your friends down, that's all you talk about refocus on the good things that are going on in their life. Focus on the little things, the beautiful things. It's spring weather where I am right now. We have flowers blooming, trees blooming. It's beautiful outside. Focus on that rather than how bad things are when we watch television all day and watch the propaganda that's on our news. Most of that crap isn't even true. Find your own news, find your own joy, find your own place to be and really appreciate who you are, where you live, and the greatness that we have right here where we are, and do your best to preserve that by focusing on what's good about it rather than what's bad about it. 
Now, I know some of you are going to comment on this and you're going to think I'm full of beans and I'm completely out of touch with reality. But believe me, I'm not. I've lived this myself and I'm living it right now. That every time I get negative on something, all it does is make me feel worse. I get sick. I get run down. I get tired. And it takes me nowhere. It takes my power away. If you want to preserve your power, your integrity, your enthusiasm, then focus on what you want and what you can do about it today, not what went wrong yesterday or what might go wrong tomorrow. What can you do about it right now? And if you're upset about something and you're reading about it or watching it on TV, change what you're doing. Start looking at things that are going right. How about your lights are on? How about you have food in the refrigerator? How about your kids love you? How about that you have a home and a roof over your head? As humble as it may be, it's better than nothing. Because that's what some people have living in other parts of this world. This is America. Love it. Embrace it. Help it along. This country was founded by all of us helping each other. Today, many of you don't even know who your neighbors are. I suggest you get out and meet them and you be willing to help them and open up your hand to help other people. The more you give other people what they require and want in their lives, the more you're gonna get what you want. And I think what all of us want is to be loved, respected, have fun, enjoy our lives and live it to the best. By bitching and complaining, it's gonna get you nowhere. By focusing on what we can do to improve upon it today, it might not be magnanimous. However, it's better than nothing. So let's think about that. Let's work on that. And when somebody comes up being negative to you, ask them, does that make you feel good talking about that? What can we do about it to change it? And collectively together, this country, which is ours, we can change it. We can bring it back to where it was. But we got to want to do it and we got to focus on that rather than what's wrong with it. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary good day. And I am also thanking all of you for commenting, chiming in, and also checking out the other channel that I'm on. It's a lot of fun. So until then, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.